Okay, so in this one, you've got a school, okay? And 50% of the students are younger than 10, okay? 120th are 10 years old, okay? So 120th are 10 years old. And 110th are older than 10, but they're younger than 12, okay? So let's write this out. 50% are younger than 10, okay, 120th are 10, and then 110th are younger than 12, but older than 10, okay. The remaining 70 students Okay, so there's 70 students left, okay, that are 12 years plus, okay? So how many students are 10 years old, okay? So there's a lot of information there. Have a good look at it. See if you can convert it into a similar-like term, okay? See how you go. So in this problem, what we're trying to do is work out how many students at this particular school are 10 years old. So what I've done already is I've written down the information that the problem has given to us and that we need to work with in order to solve this particular problem. So the first thing I'm going to get you to do is work out what the lowest common denominator is for these three fractions. Once you've found that, I would then like you to find uh, an equivalent fraction for each and then add the fractions together. So find the lowest common denominator, okay? Then find equivalent fractions and then use those equivalent fractions to add the three together. That's what I would like you to do now. So the lowest common denominator for 2, 20 and 10 is 20, okay? So what we needed to do was then find three fractions, okay? Equivalent fractions that all have the uh, denominator of 20. So uh, an equivalent fraction for 1 over 2 with a denominator of 20 is 10 over 20. Uh, this fraction here already has a denominator of 20, so we can leave it as is. And then our final fraction down here, we multiply by 2 so that we get a denominator of 20. So what we can do now that they all have a common denominator is add the numerators together. 10 plus 1 plus 2 is 13 out of 20. So once we've added these three fractions together, we've got 13 out of 20, okay? Now we can use this information to find out, okay, our missing fraction for 70 students. So we know that uh, the remaining part of this fraction is 7 out of 20, okay? If we add the 7 to the 13, uh, we get 20 out of 20, and that is a whole, okay? So we know that 70 students is 7 out of 20. So we need to use this information to work out what 1 20th is, okay? So 1 20th, we're going to work that out by dividing 70 by 7. So 70 divided by 7 is 10 students, okay? So 1 20th is equal to 10 students. So we know that 1 20th of the, the school's student population are 10 years old. So we've just worked that out. We know that 1 20th is 10 students, 1 20th of the students are 10 years old. So therefore, we can conclude that, okay, there are 10 students that are 10 years old. Let us know how you go. If you have any problems or you get stuck with any of the uh, different parts of this method, uh, ask one of your teacher and we can give you a hand.